Hello, I'm Doug, and this is Movie Maniacs, and we are back with a reaction to the official trailer for Moonage Daydream. Here we go. Are you there, David? You're aware of a deeper existence. Are you there, David? Are you there, David? Maybe a temporary reassurance that, indeed, there is no beginning, no end. And you find yourself struggling to comprehend a deep mystery. Ever since I was 16, I was determined to have the greatest adventure that any one person could ever have. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa calling for you. I'm the space invader. I'll be a rock and roll bitch for you. And how about the shoes? Are those men's shoes or women's shoes or bisexual shoes? They're shoe shoes, silly. <laughs> exactly. Shoes don't have sex. <laughs> Wow, okay. It's an HBO documentary film put out by Neon. It's two great powerhouses. The one that put out documentaries and the other one that's just a great film production house. And you, this is one of the first like biopics, or it's not a biopic, it's a documentary, biographies of Bowie that's came out, you know, post his passing, which has been gosh, like eight years, no, six years now. And I was really devastated by that, um, his passing. Um, he was young, um, still, in my opinion. And he felt like he had a lot of like st life left in him and a lot of creativity left in him. And it just it sucks, cancer sucks. Uh, it just takes too many people away from us, even young children um, at such a young age. And it's just like, um, the human race has like got to solve the problem of cancer. Um, I personally believe it's because of man's um, destruction of our earth, our water, soil, food, and air uh, with pollutants and chemicals that um, are making cancers more prevalent in the world. It's not that they didn't exist in one way, shape, or uh, form in, back in the past. Um, it's that it's just way more prevalent now because there's so many toxins that are being absorbed by your body on a daily basis. And, and I believe that it's robbing us of our fullest humanity. And the thing that was like the part of this trailer that I, uh, that I heard is where he said, I'm gonna just try to live this best adventure possible that I can in my life and I just wish that everybody would try to do that. I understand that there's factors that um, keep us all from getting to that point and there's a lot of um, emphasis on privilege uh, allows people to do those things. I don't believe David Bowie was someone that uh, was necessarily privileged. I believe he lived in a specific time where he could um, do the things that he wanted to do and was able to do it because the world supported him in doing that because they had just came out of a world war 
and there was an emphasis on art and creativity and moving forward. And I believe that that uh, coming out of the pandemic that we're seeing a lot of that happening now. There isn't a lot of like popular art and popular culture yeah. on the levels that we saw in the past where people would just like go out and buy the same album and everybody be on in, in you know listening to the same songs and discussing the same songs and discovering the same music or discovering the same films and movies and discovering the same actors and the same talent the same TV shows and you in those generational things um, are what makes us who we are the, the pop culture aspect of it and the art and the creativity and those things need to be honored and respected because those things are what make us who we are truly and David Bowie is the, one of the rarest of the rare human beings just like Prince um, was like one of the rarest of the rare human beings and just losing them two in the same time frame was just not something that I had expected and those two were just kind of influential on me and music in general and um, I always wanted to try to it's like I don't want to sound like somebody else other than Doug Bomb you know I just want to be my character or me and I've played a lot of characters in bands and <laughs> music and DJing and used a ton of different names and whatnot and my story is even yet to be told <laughs> in that same way uh, but it's up to me to get it out there it's like uh, I don't even have a Wikipedia page but maybe you guys can change that by subscribing to this channel and uh, that'll help me get one out there. Um, anyway, I will uh, be seeing you again soon. But again, subscribe, like, and comment below. Take care and have a great week. Hello. Hello, 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 and welcome to...